Good afternoon and welcome to the 58th Annual First Ever Teacher Award Program. My name is Viola Collin and I'm the President of the Midland City Education Association representing the teaching and special services staff for Midland Public Schools. I am honored to co-sponsor this event with Midland Public Schools Board of Education. This program is always one of the highlights of our school year. A time to honor our retiring staff, recognize years of dutiful service to our students and our community, and to applaud four of our outstanding educators as winners of the Gerstecker Teacher Proficiency Award. When I say teaching today is a very challenging job, I'm not saying anything that the people in this room don't already know. Teachers work extraordinarily hard and face much adversity. That's why not just anybody can be a teacher. A good teacher has to have certain qualities to be an icon of inspiration. Great teachers extract the hidden qualities of every student with words of inspiration, persistence, and discipline. Basically, in order to be successful in this job, you need to recognize early on that it really isn't just a job at all, but a passion for children, a passion to shape their future for the better, to create an environment where they feel safe to take risks in order to reach their highest potential. Everyone has a favorite teacher. We may love this special teacher for their knowledge, enthusiasm, or charisma. Often, some of our best memories from childhood revolve around a great teacher who inspired and changed our life. Their words or actions linger in our memories decades after we leave school. Teachers bear an enormous responsibility of passing on their wisdom and their knowledge. You may notice some common qualities among favorite teachers. They motivate you to work harder and take risks. They are passionate about their subject matter and enjoy teaching. In this world, none of us have, have succeeded without the guidance of a teacher. I know that each of the teachers that will be recognized today are individuals who respect and cherish students. They are educators that light the spark of learning in young minds, a spark that will turn to a flame that must be fed for the rest of their lives. I am proud to call myself a teacher. I am proud, very proud, to represent teachers. No other profession does more to change people for the good. Teachers devote their lives to giving our children the tools to succeed, not only in the classroom, but in life. Those that we honor today understand this. They have answered the call of excellence, dedication, and creativity. Each of our winners are polished professionals and innovative in the way they think and practice this art we call teaching. Our winners have achieved excellence in their profession, and more importantly, they have helped their students achieve excellence in and out of the classroom. They are role models for all of us. They set the standard in our profession and represent the best of public education. As we celebrate the 58th anniversary of this event, I ask you to take a moment to consider the list of names in your program where we celebrate previous Gerstecker winners, dating back to when this award was established by the Gerstecker family in 1956. On this list are some of the finest people to ever grace this community with their passion for teaching. I wish to thank the Gerstecker family for their ongoing support of our schools and many other programs in our community. During the first portion of our program this afternoon, we honor years of service to public education. These years may be in public, Midland Public Schools, in other districts, in our state, or around the nation. These years may be as a teacher, a counselor, a therapist, or an administrator. 
Each of our MCA members, I am about to acknowledge, will receive a certificate and a pin from the Midland City Education Association, indicating their years of service. This recognition will take place at many of the end of the year luncheons and programs at individual buildings. I would like each of you in these categories to please stand when recognized. Please hold your applause until all groups are standing. If you are celebrating your 25 years of service in public education, would you please stand?
Cheryl is actually retiring from her teaching position with Jefferson Middle School at the end of this school year. Cheryl joined NPS in 1987 as a teacher at Cook Elementary School. Cheryl's entire professional career has been spent with Midland Public Schools for 26 years. Next is uh, Dr. Kathy Ellison. As many of you are aware, Kathy is retiring from her position as Associate Superintendent of Curriculum Instruction and Staff Development here at MPS. Kathy has dedicated over 40 years to public education in the state of Michigan and in the state of Pennsylvania, and her career um, spans all the way back to 1991 when she started here with Midland Public Schools. So 39 years of service, Kathy. She just whispered it's a total of 41, so see how hard it is. We were trying to do her a favor. <laughs> Suzanne Lombardo. <laughs> Sue was retiring from her position of English, Drama, and Debate teacher with Midland High School. She began her MPS career in 1994, her entire MPS career and not many teachers can really say this, I don't think, um, has been spent pe teaching drama, forensics, and debate at MHS. Before coming to MPS, she was a member of the teaching staff of Bear River High School in Essexville. She has a grand total of 27 years. <laughs> Next we have Sue Ann McMillan. Sue Ann retired from her position as Midland High Counselor effective January 1 of this year. Sue Ann began her MPS career in 1996 as a counselor at Jefferson Intermediate School, and before coming to MPS, Sue Ann taught in the Farwell area schools. 24 years of service. Just a few 
kindness to share from me to all of you. For the past six years, it's been my honor to be part of this ceremony as we honor our wonderful Midland Public School teachers. I'd like us all to reflect back on the history of this country and see if you can remember what happened that was so significant in our history 50 years ago from 2013. As you may have realized, John F. Kennedy was our, 30th, our 35th president of the United States at the beginning of that year. He has been somewhat a historical figure in this country that I've admired for my entire life. He served as president for two years and ten months from January 1961 <coughs> through November of 1963. How many of us in this room can remember exactly where you were when President Kennedy was assassinated? Thank you. That's quite an impact on your life. In his 46 years of life, President Kennedy accomplished many things and imparted many words of wisdom that are often still quoted 50 years after his death, and I'd like to share five of those with you. One of his quotes is, our most basic common link is that we all inhabit this planet. We all breathe the same air. We all cherish our children's future. President Kennedy made this comment as part of his speech entitled, A Strategy of Peace at his American University commencement address in 1963. Cherishing, cherishing our students' future is truly the tie that binds all of us as educated, driven professionals. Quote number two. For time in the world do not stand still. Change is the law of life. And those who look only to the past or to the present are certain to miss the future. As educators, we all know that pace of change in our profession really is fast and furious. We know that if we are not ready to embrace change as educators, we get left behind. Even more alarming, however, is the education of students entrusted to our care can't afford to be left behind. <laughs> Quote number three, there are risks and costs to action, but they are far less than the long-range long risk of comfortable inaction. In my 25 years of public education, I found the best educators take risks. We're called to action, and we're never comfortable with inaction. These are the educators who are always stretching and striving to make learning come to life for the students that we serve. Quote number four. As we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. Throughout my career as an educator, a building administrator, and a superintendent, it's been very easy to genuinely appreciate the amazing educators that I've had the opportunity and great pleasure to encounter. To watch an educator bring a new skill or lesson to life for a student, for me, is really a joy. I've witnessed on many occasions our wonderful MPS educators working one-on-one, -on -one, in small groups, and in full classrooms to make a difference in the lives of our students. At this wonderful event today, please accept my heart heartfelt appreciation to you, the selfless, dedicated educators of Midland Public Schools. And now as I anticipate my retirement from public education, I think my new favorite quote from John Kennedy, and it's not very deep, has to be, nothing compares to the simple pleasure of a bike ride. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to taking life a little slower they're on a line because I love to fish in the beautiful Great Lakes to catch a fish or two. Taking a hike on a beautiful up north trip, up north, north trip through the woods, and maybe even a bike ride on our bike trail here in Middle. I wish Middle Public Schools staff, students, families, and the community all my best in the years to come. It has truly been my pleasure to walk among all of you as a fellow educator. And now we want to take a few moments to send again our sincere thanks and very best wishes to our MPS employees. Thank you again for your wonderful years of service.
And so I am honored to present the first award for this current school year. Um, every person here probably holds some very dear memories about their education. They think back to teachers they had when they were younger. And for me personally, um, you know, growing up in this district, in this town, a lot of the names that are on the back of your program, I, I had those teachers. So again, it's, it's important for me and it's nice to be able to recognize, recognize people who I have, you know, had this connection with. So um, again, it's usually the human element that, that are the fond memories that we think back on. And when you share your stories about your education with your friends, those are the things that you talk about, those, those human connections. So teachers are often considered to be memorable for a number of different reasons. Um, most commonly, these teachers have the ability to connect with students, or they bend over backwards to make somebody feel really comfortable when they first enter the classroom, or because they care enough to push students further than they thought they could go. Um, all are different reasons, but they're all certainly compelling reasons why we might consider someone to be an excellent teacher or worthy of this award. You know, for me, just to share a little bit again about the history that I have with the district, I remember Mrs. Rice, she was my first grade teacher, and I was petrified when I was six years old to start the school year, and I think I was teared up in the hallway, and she came out and took, you know, took me to the classroom, and her name is on the back of the program. Um, at Northeast Middle School, I had Mrs. Reed, now, well, Miss Reed, now Mrs. Jones, and, and again, she had uh, different things that were special about her. You know, she always made sure every day homework was turned in. You know, so she, she was the one who would push you and make sure that you were always giving your best. And then in high school, um, Triz, Mr. Trzinski, I had him for physics. And, and for someone in high school, you know, you think about your stereotypical high school boys that are into sports and at, you know, athletics. And uh, it was amazing that I looked forward to physics every day. And it was because of his sense of humor and what he did. So in my mind, all, these people are always going to be great teachers, and I'm sure all of you uh, have similar stories about your teachers. So um, to take this idea one step further, um, and, you know, to go back and remember banks and hopefully <coughs> thinking about the people that you had these experiences with, um, generally, though, they all share passion in some way uh, for the profession of education and what they want to do for kids. And it is the same today, but in addition, as you heard mentioned earlier, teachers have to do more with less. Uh, times have changed a lot for the profession. And I think um, managing limited resources and still being able to achieve the high standards of the results that we have here is, is truly a, a unique situation for middle schools. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so these challenges facing educators today, I think, make this award even more meaningful. And so the question is, who is the Viking staff member we're going to recognize? <laughs> so it goes without saying that this year's staff aware is, is an expert in the curricular area. Uh, they do all of the following things. This person shares the fun and excitement of learning with their students. They work together with their kids uh, in the classroom to master new skills and to perform. They model hard work, dedication, and always uh, trying to teach the kids that there's something uh, it's something bigger than themselves. You know, it's, it's teamwork, it's for the good of the, the group, the school, um, but still pushing them individually and trying to get them to excel in their own areas. Uh, this person encourages students to take risks and ultimately from the mistakes that they are going to learn from the mistakes that they make along the way. And that that certainly is okay. Uh, this person also teaches students an appreciation and a love for music. So there's your first hint. Uh, regardless of the student's talent, or ability level. Like other previous winners, this person has made a huge impact on countless numbers of students in the district uh, over a 26 year teaching career. So they are part of the second crew. And to further this point, I'd like to read a list of all the buildings this person's worked in. Um, obviously, they're Northeast Viking, but they've also been a Central Cavalier, an East Long Eagle, a Cook Cougar, a Midland Chemic, a Plymouth Pioneer. A Mills Mustang, a Jefferson Husky, a Longview Lion, a Parkdale Panther, and a Seabird Bulldog. So, 11 buildings in 26 <laughs> years, um, working with students in grades 5 to 12. And I, and I did start to try to do the, the tally for principals that they worked for, and I just got confused and left. <laughs> I think uh, they probably will be able to tell you the answer in a minute. Um, so, in the nom nomination letter that was written for this person, uh, it was mentioned that she willingly gives up her personal time 
She spent countless hours on weekends and evenings to plan and organize uh, concerts, make travel arrangements, um, plan for orchestra festivals, and I think it's obvious now who remember this. Uh, more importantly, she's made a significant impact on the education of countless children at MBS. And so Linda Murray. <laughs>
teacher has come full circle in her career with a variety of teaching experiences, starting as a classroom teacher, <laughs> moving to the end of the Gifted and Talented Program, spending several years in AA, I mean A squared, <laughs>
have been so many places and talked to so many people that I'm looking at right now, and you've all made me such a better person. Oh, and my family, the three of the four that are here came so far from Washington, from Boston, from Atlanta. Uh -huh. Also added that the parent 
parents were lucky that our children are able to say that they had this teacher. Another parent added that this teacher's enthusiasm for the subject matter and positive attitude made my son's experiences in this classroom fun and challenging. I would describe this teacher as a fantastic teacher, a cheerleader, and a mentor for students at Central Middle School. So who is this person? <laughs> On their MPS application, which I was able to find, <laughs> this teacher wrote, I became a teacher because I believe that teachers can and do make a difference. Each child is an individual unique in their own way and very different from others. As an educator, it is my job to analyze each child so that I may be successful, excuse me, so that I may successfully understand and be able to effectively meet individual needs. I'm not changing this, it continues. I'm not adding anything. I am responsible for developing each child to reach maximum potential academically, physically, socially, and emotionally. This teacher is a product of middle public schools, graduating from middle high school in a year that I will not say. <laughs> they attended Central Michigan University, fire up chips. After starting their teaching career in Arizona and Colorado, they received their master's degree <laughs> from Arizona State University. Go Sun Devils. They started at MPS at Carpenter Elementary School as a third grade teacher with 24 students in their classroom. The principal at the time, Mr. Gary, Gary Ulrich, <laughs>
your buildings, corporations, and relationships sometimes do not make it three years or more. It is saying something that this award is to the test of time. The first first ever award was presented in 1956 and has been presented every year since. Thank you once again for your continued support and steadfast support of this award. Before sharing thoughts about our next recipient, I would also like to take a moment to congratulate the previous recipients whose names were added to a very select collection of educators. And on a personal note, I'd like to congratulate LMFR for receiving a career staffer award. I, along with our team at Woodcrest, had the good fortune of working with Ellen for a number of years. I can assure you that she is very deserving of this award. As I'm all, just a quick side note from my prepared comments, I think that Zach and Frank can probably confirm her son and husband. We haven't seen that many tears from her since probably she was worried her beloved Packers were going to be. <laughs> standing the test of time. Things of value stand the test of time. In the business world, great companies are those that consistently deliver quality products to the customers and consistent value to investors. In the sports world, great teams are those that persevere and win championships or make deep runs into the playoffs on a regular basis. One and done, as the saying goes, doesn't make a team, organization, or individual and great. It might be fun to celebrate an exceptional year, but the term great not even start to get thrown around until high rates of achievement begin to repeatedly occur over the course of time. The Pittsburgh Steelers, and begrudgingly I admit the Green Bay Packers, for example, are considered great in the world of professional football because they win on a regular basis and they regularly are part of the conversation at the end of each season about who will win the Super Bowl. Our next recipient is, has been, and should be considered great she has stood the test of time and consistently delivered high quality programming to her students. This person is someone whose name is consistently brought up by parents, students, and colleagues. As someone who goes the extra mile, puts in the extra time, and has laid out her piece in regard to educating from students to The person I am referring to is her bachelor's and master's degrees from Saginaw State University. This person is not only recognized for being an outstanding educator for her performance at Woodcrest, but also for her performance at other schools during her career as an FBS. While preparing for this afternoon's presentation, I spoke with colleagues who worked with this individual at East Lawn, Longview, Plymouth, and Central Middle School. While each person I spoke with used a variety of words to describe the day's first set of recipient, the one word that was used by all of them was, you guessed it, great. Great at working with kids, a great colleague who always went above and beyond what was expected of her, and great at living. Now, if you're worth pointing out, this is never that this person has met the criteria of outstanding test of time that I mentioned at the outset of my comments. Not only has she been an outstanding teacher for a number of years, she has done multiple buildings and at multiple levels. This person is not going to die. This person is not the music industry we call a market wonder. No, this person is your clean up here. This person is a game changer. This person is your go-to person whom you know will deliver great learning experiences for the kids because you know that it's not going to So who is this person? Well, I've heard from my researchers that this person was always, and I mean always, a team mom for the children's sports teams. It's really that she played hockey, baseball, and football, that her dog was on the house squad. This meant she got herself very good and encouraged them and helped them to make those experiences as knowledge as possible. <laughs>